I'm Tanya and this is Ellie. So I have had Ellie for three years and I wasn't able to find any sort of tutorial on how to get her hair done. So I thought I'd create one because I'm sure there are a lot of other dog parents that would love to know how to make sure their little baby looked cute with their bows in. So if you wanna know how Ellie went from looking like that to looking like this, keep watching. These are the supplies you'll need. The Laney Limited Rubber Bands. They don't get tangled up on the hair. They're not on Amazon anymore, but I'll post the link for them. These curved scissors have a little hook on one of the blades so that you can grab onto the rubber band and cut it easily. It helps that they're rounded so you don't run a risk of stabbing your puppy. Next, you'll also need some combs. I think they're flea combs. I'll post the link to these too. Um, they're two different sizes. I use a smaller one around the face and the large one to separate the hair. And this tiny little brush, it's from Lil Paws. I think I got it at the grocery store. I'll find something similar to it. I start off by taking off the bows she's already got on her hair. They are rubber bands and they don't get stuck, so no tangles. Next, I use the scissors to cut the rubber bands off of her hair. There are four in total. Her hair does get a little tangled and matted from being up in a little ponytail while she's scratching herself, so just separate the little clumps to make it easier to brush out. It has been a little chilly, so Ellie's going to wear a sweater. have to pull her ears and her hair out. I reach in with my fingers into her sleeve and through the other end, I'll pull her arms through. I start brushing under her ear and continue right to left. So Shih Tzus have hair, unlike most dogs that have fur and their hair is very thin, it can get tangled easily, so it's best to work in sections. That way you can see the tangles better and not pull too much. Once I'm done brushing all of her hair, I use a smaller comb to clear out her hair around the eye area. Sometimes little eye boogers get dried up around there if I don't pick them out in the morning. She doesn't really get tear stains anymore underneath her eye. Again, it's just eye boogers that dry up there. So I use the small comb to also brush underneath her eye. She is looking away from me because I have the phone right in her face and she doesn't really like that, but it's important to be gentle when you brush around this area. Now I separate her hair into two sections, manually at first, and then I use the large comb to do the half part. So the front of her hair is white and I use that to section off her first pigtail. It's important that you separate it with a comb so you don't have hair coming from all different sides that are going to be pulling at her.
I do use a teeny bit of water to secure her flyaways. That way they don't get into the wrong sections. So the first rubber band is going in and I do two twists, which means it'll loop around three times. So there is one loop and you pull the hair through, twist it for the second loop, another pull through and second twist for the third loop, pull through and first ponytail is done. I do pull a little bit from the side so it's not too tight. It's a little bit hard to see, the camera will focus better, but I'm starting on the second or the pigtail on the back, which will be combined with the first. You need to separate the hair on her crown from the hair on her ear. That way when she scratches herself, it doesn't pull on her ear. And you can tell where her ear starts. If you just feel down, you'll be able to feel the little flap or the lump from her ear. The hair toward the back of the pigtail, I don't know if you can see where the comb's at, it's a little more golden. That is ear hair, so we're going to separate that. I use the brush and the comb, the brush because it's a larger section of hair and the comb to make sure that there is a good separation. Obviously it's not perfect, but I do the best that I can to make sure that she has clean lines. So I brush up and then I flip it over to make sure that the hair from the other section isn't getting stuck on it and I brush up from there as well. If you need to use a little bit of water to separate the flyaways, go ahead and do that. That's very helpful. I'll make sure to have a better holder for the camera next time so the angles can be seen much better. Now it's time to combine the two pigtails. Don't pull too much on the first pigtail because some of the hair is close to her eye and you don't want to pull on her eye. Now there's going to be more hair so you're only going to do one twist for two rounds. So pull it out a little bit and there goes round one. Pull all the hair through, twist, and there goes round two. Pull through 
and that is it. I'll do the same on the other side. I do pull her hair from the edges out from the band a little bit so it's not too tight. Now she has both pigtails done. She actually has a little diamond around them if you can see. It's a little cute thing she's got going on. <laughs> It's bow time. So I keep her bows in this little container. I got it off of TJ Maxx, so I don't think I'll be able to post a link to it, but I can post a link to the bows. They are two inch bows, I think, that I got from Amazon. They're actually for little kids, but they work just as well. And it's a pack of 40 or 50 for $10. So I place these bows over the rubber band from the pigtails that we already have. I like these bows because the hair doesn't get caught in them and it doesn't get tangled. Okay, we're finishing off the look with a Louis collar to go with a Louis sweater. And there's the finished look. Please like this video if you think Ellie looks adorable. Thank you so much for watching this video. See y'all next time.